Is the banner even? Are... And what about the ceremonial dragon fire flame of friendship? Is it still flaming? Spy, you've been hanging around Twilight for too long. Reason number one. I invited Dragon Lord Ember to Ponyville today. Reason friends, but competing is in their nature and it's leading to more and more fights. Which brings me to reason number four. The Dragon Lord... But you got this, Spike. I... I just want things to be perfect. And I'm not one to back out of an invitation. Hey, Twilight! Hey, Starlight! Hey! Ooh. Oh, it's pretty! You invited Thorax over to Ponyville on the same day as Ember? Uh... <laughs> It was the same day I invited Ember. What am I gonna do? Well, maybe they'll like each other. Glad you invited me. You are one of my closest, nicest, most caring, most understanding friends ever. Each other. And if the leader of the Changelings and the Dragon Lord get into a fight, oh, I could be responsible for starting a war. <laughs> I'm sure that won't happen. Now pull it together. Indigestion. I'm not sure if it's the new diet or stress, or, or maybe it's both. No! Yeah? Uh, how about a, uh, a trip to the castle? <laughs> you can't miss that view. Yes, the castle. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some ice cream for us and catch up. <laughs> Dragon Lord Ember, as the official equestrian friendship ambassador for this speech. Okay, thanks. <laughs> huh. Right, Lord Vash. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, I'm... Really gonna have to get used to these pony names. Lots of part of friendship is saying hi to your friends, right? Uh, well, yeah, but uh, good job on. Uh, you yeah. know what us dragons say? Push past the pain. Now let's go. Or we could stay here. Or I could. Good. They're not here. What was that? You must be hungry from your travels. Please, I'd love to present you with an official friendship welcome banquet. Mm. So this is something friends do? I can get used to this. Actually, that... Mm. Just keep her here. Okay, yeah! <laughs> Enjoy all the uh, crystal bank... Mm. So, this is my comfy chair for fictional reads. I'm so glad you're here. Well, this castle visit is getting weird. Twilight really likes chair. Hey, I'm really sorry, but I gotta borrow Twilight quickly. Ah! I know. I saw you coming and had to distract Thorax by showing him chairs. Why did you bring Ember to the castle of all... Just... All we have to do is make both Thorax and Ember feel special and keep them apart for a few more hours. We can... I think it's the math. It's calling you. Apparently, you also have to solve a friendship problem. <gasps> Amazing! The map is really reaching out. Not a good time. <gasps> Glowing map. <laughs> Glowing spikes. That's not good. We're gonna need both of you to help. You two need to keep Ember and Thorax separate while I get ice cream. You mean find the friendship problem. Any pony got a friendship problem here? Any problems to solve? 
Friendship problems? Okay. <laughs> well, I think vanilla strawberry cream is overused. Mmm, it's not. Ember, there you are. Okay. Dia, it was polite to decorate your walls and your friend's favorite foods. <laughs> oh my. Sure, everything is perfect for your welcome party later. In the meantime, how about I show you around town? Sounds good. I can't. <laughs> Oh. Uh, hey, Thorax. Um, twice... Spike, he said he'd be right back. Oh, you will. But first, how about we grab a bite to eat? <laughs> you know, Asshole no. food. If you want the good stuff, we gotta go to town. Thanks, Spike. Oh, come on, glow! Spike! I am done with whatever Starlight says I was doing. Thorax wanted to get out of the castle. I thought coming to town was a re... I'll leave you guys to it. First of all, I want to say thank you for having me over. I'm in a bit of a leadership pickle. This renegade group of changelings who still feed off of love. Even though I said, hey, let's not do that anymore, they said... Usually when I do that, the dragons are eager to meet. This is a weird friendship thing you ponies do, right? With me this whole time. No, I'm Starlight. Right. They just keep saying the same thing. You know, I think my leadership problem started in childhood. There must have been three when there was a different... But first! Well, I got here first! Thorax, uh, excuse me for a second. You two should sit together. You both like the same place, you both ordered muffins, you're both ponies. Oh. <sighs> hey, that was really great advice. So, what do you think? Well, we'll really come up with great advice. I'll be right back. <laughs> great. No problem. Leave me in. You both have cutie marks with sparkly things. <laughs> Mine's more of a glimmer. <laughs> uh, well, you know, one thing French do is let something go when it's upsetting somebody else. But I'm not you. Are you calling me a liar? <laughs> Hey, no one yells at my friend. Actually, the bear is a changeling, and he's quite gentle. Not anymore! Ah, my worst fears are happening! Harm a scale on your back. You back away! I'm not gonna let you harm him! Wait. Did you say you're not gonna... <laughs> Equestria, as we know it, is over! The war that pits Changeling against Dragon is about to begin! And it's all my fault! Because I accidentally invited you both over to Ponyville on the same day? So, so what? I get it. You thought he wouldn't like me just because I'm a dragon and I'm bad at friendship? No, no, of course... You know what? I don't want to talk about it. Wait, please! I'm sorry. No, That's no. not it! Thorax, wait! Oh, no. What have I done? You still here. <sighs> because I'm having trouble leading my pack, so I don't really want to go. Problem? I don't know how. I tried asking them to please follow my directions. I even offered a prize. Chills. I know you have it in you. You turned into a bear to defend Spike. Huh. I guess I can be tough when I'm defending my... Leader for a reason. Make a decision and let it be known that the decision is final. And if that doesn't work... You're so bad at friendship. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, you have to. How else are you going to solve your problems? Uh, 
How does that help? Crushing another dragon in competition established they probably want to run away and bury themselves under a rock and never come out. They're probably sad. Part of the issue. Talking about your feelings does. <laughs> you feel. Uh, I know where we can start. Where? Oh, Spike. Or they want to see you now. Guess what, Spike? I know. <sighs> Okay, that's a good first attempt. Now, maybe try to be more specific? You have every right to be. I know I do! And I know I need to tell you how I feel because my friend... Because my friend Ember is helping me be more certain. Whoa. Nice. Right. Can you forgive me? I really do feel better. So, yeah, uh, again? <laughs> no way! It's finally happening! I saw... I should have told my two friends about each other immediately, instead of assuming they wouldn't get along. Good job, Spike. <laughs> so, as a show of unity, I present the Dragon for Eternity. <laughs>